Hi everyone, Rock Goddy Tachi here and welcome back to some more anime figure unboxing and today we are unboxing another Sonico figure for the week of Sonico and it is all about the stage costume version, the Furyu prize figure, a prize figure, so she is kind of like an Ichiban Kuji figure and she is the stage costume version from the Super Sonico animation. Now there are two versions of this figure, there is one where she is more brightly coloured and there's also another one where she's actually more shinier uh, as well. So there are two versions, so you may have picked up uh, one or the other if you are lucky to get hold of her. Now as you can see, the box is pink and yellow and white, which I think is very interesting. It sort of does give off the Sonic animation vibe. Uh, we've got the big A there for the A prize, we've got the actual animation logo as well. Furyu in the corner, so you know who the actual maker is. Big window showcasing the figure. Pretty much a bog standard prize figure box. Nothing too exciting going on here. Yeah, we've got a little bit of dash of colour here and there, but nothing too exciting, nothing too eye-catching. So it's not a very visually appealing box, but it's still a nice box nonetheless. So let's move on to the side, where we actually get a look at the figure. And as you can see, she is in a very, very interesting costume. All I can say to you is this costume is made of candy. And if you watch the series, you'll know why. Uh, but basically, we've got just a figure picture here. We've got a little bit of the actual name in the background, in the yellow writing, a few bit of stars going on. We've got a little bit of checkerboard pattern as well with the, the pink and the cream going on as well. It's, it's not a bad box, but again, it's not that visually appealing. But I can see where they're going with the whole yellow, the pink, as well on the white sort of to give off a candy kind of feel so I think they've kind of nailed it with that kind of colour scheme that they've gone for so let's have a look at the back here nothing too exciting here really just a little bit of information about the figure and we've also got a sticker of authenticity down there which is very unusual to see on prize figures but there is one and we've also got another picture of the figure uh, no back view or anything like that or side view just literally a box standard uh, front view but I'm sure she's going to look pretty amazing. I have seen other unboxings of her. I know that Leia Otaku unboxed her. So if you'd like to check out her unboxing and see what she thought of her as well, I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, let's go to the side. As you can see, we actually have the picture from the actual anime, the uh, costume that she's in with her, with her guitar. It's a shame she doesn't come with a guitar. I think that would have been a nice added bonus, but uh, she still comes in this crazy costume that was presented to her by her friend. I cannot remember her name, which is really frustrating to me right now. It was there and now it's gone. Sorry about that. But as you can see, the color scheme is still continuing throughout the box. And it's very nice to have that illustration on the side as well, just to show you how she actually looks in the anime and how happy she looks as well, playing in the costume, unknown about what's to happen to her, which again, you need to see it, you'll see what I mean. Uh, let's uh, have a look at the top here. As you can see, we've just got the stage costume version. We've got the A prize thing here again, the actual logo, and just the pink of the box as well. And if we go to the bottom, just the pink again. So, like I say, box standard prize figure box, really. Nothing too exciting, but is the figure more exciting than the box? Let's unbox her and find out. Okay, there I say it, quite adorable. Uh, if I'm honest, she really is quite an adorable figure. However, she does have prize figure quality, which we will go into those negatives and positives shortly. Just want to mention that interestingly, when you open the box, yeah, congratulations, it's uh, up the top here. So it probably means that she is quite a highly sought after figure because uh, usually prize figures don't usually have that on there. So I'm guessing that the actual lottery that she was involved in uh, may have been very difficult to actually win her, I'm not sure, but I know that she's actually quite expensive now, despite the fact she's a prize figure, and I think it's more because of the appeal of the candy, because, uh, you know, generally, what she's got on there, all of that looks pretty darn yummy, <laughs> it really does, the candy floss, you've got jelly beans there, you've got, I don't know, little cherry uh, sort of fruit shaped things on her legs so you just even like the ice cream hat here as well or, or, or whatever it is or snow cone I'm not entirely sure what this is up here but you know all of this looks generally generally quite yummy uh, and I can see why she's very very appealing to a lot of people 
and I mean I really do like uh, the look of her I think she is a very very visually uh, stunning figure really in the actual way of uh, all the colors the colors are very very blended nicely together um, you know kind of like my brain crashed a little bit there very very nicely that's just not a great way of describing but I, you guys get what I mean is literally the fact that there is a, a bit of color going on you've got the blue the pink the yellow there's a green there as well the brown for the chocolate it, it generally she looks very, very nice and very, <laughs> very yummy. That's all I can say, really. It's just the outfit. It really is. And I'm just loving like the candy floss as well here. If, if this had been pink, I don't know. I think that might have stood out just a little bit too much. So I like the fact that they made it white. So it's white candy floss. But she is very, very cute. So let's go in for a close-up on her. If I can get my tripod to stay still. Um, oh, boy. One day I will do these a bit more professionally. <laughs> I think that might might be better to do so I can zoom in on her. So as you can see, I think she is again a very, very nice looking figure. If I just do a nice little spin on her. And I think that um three of you have done a reasonably good job as well with her. So gave her a spin on the turntable there. And you can see the face is very, very nice as well. See Let's go into those negatives and positives. We're going to kick off with the positives. The positives are definitely that face. The face is what gets me with this figure, really, is I think they've just now the awkwardness, but the happiness of the situation. Um, so like, even if I move her in a little bit closer, I don't know if I can go any closer because I don't want to knock my turntable off the edge and then go figure would be very annoyed with me if I smash it. So I don't want to do that. But you can see that she's blushing but she's also got like kind of this happy look on her face as well. So she is happy that she is in a candy outfit, I guess. But also she's blushing because she's in a candy outfit. So it does really set the scene. So I think they've done a really good job on that. The painting isn't too bad. There is some places that the painting is done really, really well uh, and that I like. Uh, but now... That, that really is it, I mean honestly, apart from the fact that she looks visually appealing, those are the positives. The negatives, there are many. Uh, number one, the base. Uh, the base is just a plain white base, as you can see. Um, unfortunately, uh, she does not fit into the base properly, which I can show you. Um, I've really, really pushed down hard now and I can't get her into the base any better than that, so that's a shame. And also, there are places, a lot of places actually, where the painting is subpar, uh, subpar rather, at best, uh, including uh, there are other places where there are seam lines as well. So, I mean, if I bring them in for like a real, real close up, I can show you guys what I mean here um, when I can get this camera to behave itself. So you can see on the candy floss there, massive seam line there. Um, as we go around to like the back of the head here, you can see that there are little lumps of plastic as well. Um, there's also other bits of, uh, sort of down here as well where the painting isn't too great around the chocolate. And you can see what I mean there. And it's just that there are places, and she is a prize figure. There is just, there is no doubt about it. She is a prize figure. She hasn't got the quality of what you would expect from a scale figure. And even, if I just bring this back a little bit so you can see the top of her hat, uh, she hasn't got the quality even of what you would expect from figures like uh, what Sega have put out that have been Ichiban Kuji, Ichiban Kuji prizes. Here we go, the turntable's off on its own little world again, because that's what's gonna happen. I'm trying to get it to stay in the middle. Stay, stay, stay. It's not happening. Um, yeah, basically, she hasn't got the quality that you would expect from, say, Van Presto or anyone like that, which is a bit of a shame, really, because I think she is definitely, like I say, a very visually appealing figure. And I just feel that it's just really, really annoying that there are those little niggles there. Now, something else that bugs me, um, and that is, I like to live in the real world a little bit, and it's just this up here with the, with the headphones. It's like, how would you crush the headphones down to put the hat on? I just generally it just it bugs me a little tiny bit and you can see what I mean by how it's just crushed down because the headphones are usually round don't they 
So the fact that it's crushed down is just a little bit, I don't know, you, you wouldn't be able to do that with the headphones. You would have to take the headphones off. Uh, but as we know, we never ever see Sonico without our headphones, even in the bath, uh, which is still <laughs> weird to me. But you know, that Sonico, she's always got the headphones on. So even wearing a hat as cute and dainty and silly as this, I guess, um, even then she can still manage to wear it, even with these gigantic silver headphones, uh, which is just great. It really is. But there are there are things about this figure that I really do like. And I really do think that if you are a Sonico fan, I think you're definitely going to love her. And you're definitely going to want her for your collection. And I would urge you to try and find her on eBay uh, at a better price. And if she does pop up on Army Army, grab her off of there. I haven't seen her on Army Army. I haven't seen her on Mandarake either. But I did find her on uh, eBay. And I managed to get her for a reasonable price of £20, which I think is definitely worth the value of what I've got really for her because I don't think you should be paying any more than 20, 30 pound for her. If you pay more than that for her, I know she is a prize figure that is classed as a, again, an Ichiban Kuji. So she is gonna be a rare and hard to get hold of figure. I don't think it is worth you paying any more than that. And that's my honest opinion. So while the final verdict scrolls across, I'm gonna quickly show you uh, a size comparison as well to her to other prize figures and to a scale figure so you can get an idea of how she would sit in your cabinet or on the shelf and that's me done for another Sonico so I will be back with more Sonico this week yeah like I said it's the week of Sonico so who's going to be next uh, it could be Mermaid Sonico could be Winter Sonico could be the Nendo Sonico uh, those are the last three Sonicos that I've got to unbox until I get some more, which will probably happen very, very soon. So I'll see you guys very soon in another video. Thanks for watching, sayonara.